Pineapple University is brought to you by Hack5 and you. So thank you for supporting us directly at hakshop.com. 3G, 4G, mobile broadband, getting your Wi-Fi pineapple connected to the internet while it is out and about. And it's a pretty complex topic because there are so many choices. And because of that, there's a lot of different configuration options. But today I want to show you the simplest way to get a Wi-Fi pineapple online with a managed mobile broadband solution. So what am I talking about here? Well, first of all, as you guys know, this little critter loves to get on the internet and provide everybody else with the packets but what you really want to do is get it connected either through ethernet or a nearby Wi-Fi uh, connection a tethered android phone or a usb modem and usb modems come in a couple of different varieties first of all we have our more traditional so this is just uh... like i guess you could consider it a usb dongle modem and these are kind of great when they work, and th that's the thing. Here's another one from, uh, this is a Vodafone branded, but this is a Huawei, and this these are uh, pretty popular. They work generally pretty well. And the thing about it is it really depends on if it is supported not just by the operating system, but also if you have all of the parameters that you're going to need to configure it. So to make things a little bit easier, we've gone ahead and put a uh, page on the Wi-Fi Pineapple wiki. You can get over to wifipineapple.com slash modems to find this. And here we're documenting some of the success, success cases, some of the unconfirmed success cases. And I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to show you a few in my collection that I know work great. Um, and we're going to come back to these guys because they're a little bit more complicated. In fact, today I want to show you a different kind of 3G modem, and that is what I guess you could kind of consider it as a managed 3G modem in the sense that what it's sold as is a personal hotspot. The really cool thing about personal hotspots right now is that they support USB tethering. So here's my favorite right now. It's actually from, uh, it's a Samsung product. It's uh, right now sold through T-Mobile here in the United States and it's called the Mobile Hotspot Pro. Pretty simple. This is what it looks like. Essentially what we're looking at is a very slim device that has a battery similar to what you would find in a, uh, in a cell phone in fact and a screen. It's not actually a touch screen but it is kind of nice that it does give you a little bit of information about the connection quality and things of that nature. Uh, but What's really great about this is this device is actually managing that connection for me. So I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, being really attentive to the link quality and doing redials and dealing with all of that lower level networking stuff. The beautiful thing is this has a micro operating system on it that is taking care of that. And they sell it as, you know, I mean, it essentially it's a Wi-Fi router, right? Uh, but they sell it as, as like, oh, connect up to eight devices or whatever it may be. What we want this for is its ability to tether. And sometimes this feature is called Ethernet over USB. And what's really great about this is no configuration necessary. In fact, it's very akin to using an Android phone. In fact, it may even be running Android under the hood. So this particular unit I have already plugged into my Wi-Fi Pineapple over uh, the USB cable. I'm actually not using its supplied USB cable that came with it because I've noticed that that one was not working whatsoever. But maybe that was just me. So your mileage may vary. However, uh, this guy is in fact uh, plugged into my Wi-Fi pineapple here over USB. And so let's go ahead and switch over to our web interface. In fact, I just booted this pineapple here. so. Let me SSH in. Great. Okay. So if I say ping an IP address, yeah, I'm already online. Okay, so I'm going to have to show you the setup procedure for this one, and so we'll come back to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and unplug this modem. There we go. And we can come back here now that this is unplugged and run that command again. 
And yes, network is unreachable. So I'll go ahead and plug this guy back in. And it's simply micro USB. And what's great about this is the connection will maintain because this is actually being powered by the pineapple. In fact, that's one of the things that I like about this particular unit is that its power consumption is kind of great. I mean, look at that. It's 5 volts, but it's only using 475 milliamps. So it's well within the uh, 500 that the pineapple can provide. And so um, the, the draw is actually somewhat better than some of the other uh, CDMA or EVDO modems that I've seen that have caused USB problems in the past. Uh, all right, so this is plugged in. And if I go over to my pineapple, let's go ahead and take a look here. And I'm gonna go ahead and run. Uh, let me see if I can move this up for you. There we go. All right, so no, um, I'm going to use logger to put a bunch of O's in the log. So now when I do the log read, I'll be able to tell that's when I uh, unplugged the modem. And so now, uh, the only trick to this particular modem is you actually have to tell it to be a USB tether. And for that, it's simply a matter of coming over here to our browser. And I've actually already, uh, f this is, I'm in a Windows machine right now doing this recording, but any machine whatsoever, just go ahead and connect to this. In this case, it's a SSID, is T-Mobile Broadband 10. And of course, you can configure all of this stuff uh, or make it hidden or whatever have you. But I've connected to that network. And so now I can actually browse over to its admin page, which is at 192.168.43.1. So you'll just go ahead and log in. The password, of course, is admin. Wonderful. So log into the uh, web portal here. And this is very much like any other wireless access point or wireless router. Uh, all you need to do in this particular case is come down here where it says USB connection and check this box that says USB tethering. Now, as soon as I do that, let's switch over here and do log read, you'll notice that there's a lot more in this log. In fact, let me make this a bit bigger so that uh, it looks a bit better and run that log read again. And you'll see here are my O's. And what it's done is we've gone ahead and new device connected, it's EHCI, we see our USB here, manufacturer Samsung, in fact, hey, was I did I call it or what? The product is Samsung Android. So it is a micro Android device. And UDHCP, hey, check that out. We're sending a Discover. What are we sending a Discover on? USB? And uh, we got an IP address of 192.168.42.114. And there we go. We have a new interface called USB 0. So if I clear this and do an if config, you'll notice now, very much like I have my you know, ETH0 interface and my WLAN0 interface, I now have a USB0 interface. And this one, in fact, has an IP address. And what's fantastic about this is if I come over to my Wi-Fi Pineapple interface and click on network, I'll see that this has automatically become, USB right there has become, let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger for you, has become the default gateway for uh, for the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So now, anybody connecting to the Wi-Fi Pineapple is going to have an internet connection through this. And of course, as I've done that, I can now ping an IP address, and hey, look at that. We have a connection there, and it was that simple. And what's so great about this is I don't have to worry about micromanaging any of this. The Pineapple seriously just received an internet connection just as it would if say it's ethernet connection was set up for DHCP and you just plugged it into a router somewhere. So uh, that is why that particular model is kind of my favorite at this very moment. But I hope to follow up with this video real soon with some of the others on my desk and show you how to get started with that. So thanks for tuning in. If you have questions, let me know in the comments and I look forward to bringing you some more tutorials soon. Cheers. Yeah.